I work for the Small Business Development Center here at Seidman College of Business, and the Small Business Development Center is an organization that helps small businesses start and grow. So my role with the Small Business Development Center is the Associate State Director, also known in the private sector as the COO. When we help entrepreneurs, those solo entrepreneurs, be successful, and when we help businesses be successful, that means communities can be successful. I originally got started in the New Beginnings program at the Women's Resource Center through volunteering with the program. I explored opportunities to be engaged and to give back to women who are looking to advance themselves in the community. Incarcerated women, um, I, they have a special place in my heart. There was one um, woman, she was getting released and she had no one to pick her up. Exiting jail, has no home, has no money, has no job. She was sharing with me that she couldn't remember one day when she was a child that her father didn't beat her. So I think about that and I think about this woman who's in her 50s, couldn't remember a day in her life as a child when her father didn't beat her. Many community members think they've made bad choices and they don't need additional resources. I see it exactly the opposite. They need additional resources to change the cycle of their life and for the life of their children. Through my work with individuals in the community, I've recognized that solo entrepreneurship is on the rise. So that solo entrepreneurship can be a way for individuals who may not um, be employable from some individuals' perspectives, um, that they can be their own boss and create their own future. A lot of times it just takes an encourager. It takes one cheerleader, one person, to tell you, you can do it, you can do it, and here are resources, I'm here, and I'm gonna walk along that path. I am a first-generation college graduate. I believe in education, and I believe that everyone should be entitled, entitled to that education. So one day, um, I heard on the news that Michigan has the third highest number of children who has a parent who has served time in jail or prison. So I went home and I'm like, honey, let's start an endowed scholarship at Grand Valley State University for students who have been impacted by a parent who has served time in jail or prison. So we started it um, this past spring and it'll be endowed uh, this December. I would encourage every community member to look at how they're allocating their time. Can you just give half an hour? Figure out how to give half an hour a day. It's shocking how much just giving a little bit of your time can have an impact. All of us have the, the opportunity to make a difference in the life of someone else.